Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He'd just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent, too, sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo, though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening to me. He was raised in an animus, Desmond. There's overexposure, and then there's... Daniel. Poor guy. That could never happen to you. We won't let it. Hey, when this is all over, we should take a trip somewhere. Celebratory vacation. Yeah. That sounds nice. I'll listen to you. Italy, Brazil, and the United States, all in the span of a few weeks. And you're complaining about not getting out enough? Seriously, Sean? No, not seriously. Are you mad? Trust me, no one wants time off more than I do, right? Do you have any idea how hard it is to crank those database entries out as fast as I do? The sooner we're done here, the sooner we can take that vacation. Yeah, we should probably get back to work. Hello? Hey, do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? 
Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. Hey. So, um... When this is over, and assuming it all works out, I was hoping I could... You know... Come home. I'd like nothing more. We're almost there, son. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Did you know there are machines down here that make... Well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it ambrosia. The Indians, amrit or soma. Most cultures around the world refer to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. Hardly the stuff of legends, though... I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You've certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Things are getting worse outside. What do you mean? Every day for the past two weeks, the sun has been throwing off larger and larger flares. Older satellites are starting to malfunction. I hear rumblings of recalling the crew on the International Space Station. There's already work being done as well to shield power stations and transformers on the ground. Not that any of it matters. This goes far beyond some brownouts. We all saw what's actually coming. Do you know how it works? Look, I'm no physicist, but it, it's something to do with the Earth's geomagnetic field. The flares and mass ejections disturb it, which appears to trigger seismic events. I've tried reaching out to people who might know better, but they all insist it's bunk. And I don't blame them. It sounds ridiculous. I wish it was. Best we finish up with Connor. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you.
Hello, Connor. Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever.
Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship in a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Hmm? And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Is us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to sail us! Ready yourselves! Aye, aye! Stand by!
They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness! Oh, You're mark. alone and we're without reinforcements! Mark. Careful, Captain.
mad bastard. The French are coming! They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirates killed or goods transported, and instead, you ask for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, vite Hello, Gunner. Welcome back. Is everything in place? Oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. 